Hey guys, welcome to the either the first or second day of Vlogmas, depending on when this video goes up. Um, it is just around two o'clock here, and I am actually organizing some book orders because I put up a books for sale, books for trade, blah 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 blah, and a lot of people have been interested, so I'm just writing down the books that they want, and then I'm going to weigh them to find out roughly how much they weigh so I can post them and get some stuff out to them. I did a lot today. I got my hair done. It's nice and straight because I'm attending a wedding this weekend and it has been crazy. Like I've recently just been getting everything in order for Christmas and the holidays. So that involves a lot of making sure everything's shipped and just in order. So yeah, I'm st I st I'm doing Merry Harry Christmas Xmas to you. Um, I, I'm 150 pages into The Prisoner of Azkaban, and I'm hoping to finish it today so that on the weekend I can read one of the books that I bought today, which was a sort of a Sherlock Holmes inspired novel. It's not written by the author himself, but it is inspired by Sherlock Holmes. So I am so excited about that, and yeah, I will update you guys later. Just doing some video editing because it's Thursday, yeah, it's Thursday, and so it's video day. So I'm making my thumbnail for my Crooked Kingdoms review, which was supposed to be up in November. Once I realised that November, for the first like good chunk of it, was just pure travelling, bad, bad preparation on my part. I just was like, no, this has to be a December video. So it was filmed way back in November, but I'm just pulling it up now. I also have to get the rough draft of my Molly Magical Molly Speed Paint up because I do not have time to do a full blown one. So I have a sketch they already did that I'm going to just redraw digitally, and you can see the results between traditional and digital. And yeah, so hopefully that goes well. And I'm going to do a little grocery shopping later. But I've done with the bookish stuff i got to do. Yeah, those are all the books that people are wanting to get from me. And I just have been like weighing them and making sure I've got all the right numbers. And so I'm waiting on responses back from them. But that's good. And then tomorrow is just packing day. Just all packing day. It's, it's going to be... Uh, very, very rushed. We don't leave until the evening, so hopefully the sun will come out and I can do some laundry before I go away, but it's not likely with this weather because it's been it's been storming all day. So hopefully tomorrow it'll be better. But yeah, that's all I'm doing and I need to get back to it, so I'll check in with you guys later. Bye. I wanna talk about Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban for a second because I am Reading that for Merry Harry Xmas to you, that whole event. Like I, I've had the book. I read the books when I was younger. Like I read the first two, and then I just stopped. So I thought I might pick up where I left off. And reading the first about 150 pages, I think because I saw the movie first, it helped me visualize a lot of things. Now I I like picking up if I haven't seen or read the book. Before I saw the movie, then that's fine with me. I will just go pick up the book and read it. But in this case, I think it did help a bit with just visualizing the night bus and whatever. Because I was, I'm a very big fan of some of the Harry Potter movies, you know. Some of them I watched when I was older because I was too scared in the beginning. But I distinctly remember watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. And I remember having the original cover to Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone in my bookshelf when I was a little. I remember having that. That was, like, one of my favourite books. So, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban. It, it's good reading it again, and it's good to, to sort of discover that thing. I thought the book was longer than it is. It's only about 330 pages, I believe. So I can get through it easily today. I am just so happy that I'm finally starting to read these books. And I'm collecting two editions by way of collecting one, by splitting the books up and collecting three. Collecting three from one edition and then three from another edition and we'll see where it goes. Because I 
Well, I understand why people collect different sets of books in the same book in different editions. Like, I've done it too. I've collected the um, Mind of My Ghost series in both the old covers and the new covers. It's like a, you know, I just, I sometimes I don't understand why that is. And then I keep, a, you know, it's, it's, I just don't understand. But I'm doing it that way because I like some of the illustrations in one edition and some of the spines on another. So it's all good. I just wanted to let you guys know that I'm loving Harry Potter. I did do the Patronus quiz and my Patronus is like some sort of, I think it's a dog type creature. And my houses are horn serpent and Ravenclaw. And personally, I like Ravenclaw because the colors are so good. And I, I, I was so happy when I got sorted into Ravenclaw. So yeah, I, yeah, it's just been raining today. So I've been stuck inside, but I will catch up with you guys later. Rosie. Bye. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Hey puppy. Ready? Hey. <laughs> hello. Hello, 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 hello. Currently working on this just to get a video done so I can be a demo Saturday and it's LA. A YouTuber who I admire and I did while I was in I drew this while I was in Brisbane and now I am just finishing up the digital version. Is oh okay. So we remove that and remove that. This is the original sketch and this is the coloured version. So yeah, it's taking along great. All I've got to do is do the next couple of things to it and I'll be done. I'm also recording it for it. So it's it's coming along pretty good. Hey guys, um, it's right around one o'clock in the morning so I'm going to go to bed. I spent about an hour fixing up a video for tomorrow and then I spent another hour just watching this um, movie is called Namborashi Lens and it's just a cute little fluffy romance about two 14 year olds who are having their first relationship and it's so beautiful and so it's just so precious and then I watched 45 minutes of Matt Crushery plays Logan on Gilmore Girls basically doing his interview for the Netflix event and I have I have a lot of feelings on the revival which I am putting in a video that I either have uploaded or am uploading at the time of this vlog but just wanted to say good night and that ends another vlog in Vlogmas. Bye!